Hi folks, this is John Lester, or Pathfinder as I'm often known in virtual worlds, and I want to show you a really neat, quick demo of a feature that I just discovered in Singularity. Singularity is a viewer for Second Life and OpenSim, and in the most recent version that was just released, there's this really cool feature. You can see it listed right here. And it is Wave Front and Collada Export, which allows you to export prim-based models as mesh files. Wavefront means you save your file in the format of uh, extension.obj, and Collada has the file extension of DAE. So the uh, cool thing is, of course, once you get your prim-based models as mesh models, you can pull them into Unity 3D, or you could even pull them into another virtual world platform that uses mesh. And so I'm going to show you really quick how this actually works right now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, uh, Singularity. I'm currently logged into my own grid, which is hosted on my desktop machine, my own open sim grid. And I'm just going to come over here, and I'm going to make something on the ground over here. I am going to uh, build what's maybe, hopefully, something that looks like a lamp. <laughs> so let's see. Let's make a uh, let's make a cylinder. Do something like you know like this. I'm not very good at this, but it's a lot easier to build in prims than it is in uh, mesh modeling programs. Um, so you know, there's that. And what I'll do now is I'll um, uh, basically. Make another part like this, you know, a cylinder part that's the, uh, the pole here. And let's see here, we'll just do the stick it here. <laughs> and let's do one other part here. Don't laugh, I know. I'm not very good at this. Yeah, let's do something like this. And we'll just make a funky kind of thing here where we can just you know, stick this like on the top here and flatten it and you know put a let's put a sphere on the top because that's always fun here's a sphere and let's just stick that over there well oh, there's my awesome <laughs> my awesome lamp uh, I need to link the parts right so I'm just gonna link uh, I'm gonna go select and select, 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 and go under tools and link them all. And I'm going to call this thing, you know, open sim prim lamp. Um, I could have done things with sculpties, I could have done things with torturing the prims, it's all the same. Uh, the export works with all of that. It's totally not aligned or anything like that. Oh wow, that's really bad. Wait a second. I gotta at least fix, you know, the pole part. I'm not a builder. That's glaringly apparent uh, in what I'm doing here. There we go. That's at least a little bit better. <laughs> um, now, how do I export this? Well, this is a, you know I made this with Prims, but I have to be both the creator and the owner of every component, right? So, fortunately, I am because I just made this from, from, thing from scratch. I am the creator and the owner. Um, now, this export does not work with any kind of texture mapping, so your models are just going to be essentially naked. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to add that feature in the future, but that would be really awesome if, you would allow, if it would allow you to export the texture mapping as well as the geometry. So how do I export this? All you do is you right-click on it, go to More, select More again, go to Tools, and here are the two op options. Save as OBJ or Save as DAE. I'm going to go Save as OBJ. And that opens up a little window that's allowing me to say, you know, to, to basically choose where I want to save it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, call this, uh, um, you know, open sim prim lamp .obj. Save it on my desktop, and it tells you here it was successfully exported. And you can actually see the file here that was just created, open sim prim lamp. Ta-da! There it is. Uh, what I'll do now is just, uh, you know, t take this lamp and hold on to it. I may want to use it again sometime later. It, it works exactly the same way in Second Life. Exactly the same way what I just showed you. So now, this is where it gets really interesting. I have this file, this OBJ file. Now let me open up something like Unity 3D. Here. There we go. And, um, oh, I 
lost my file. There it is, on my desktop. Now, I'm in Unity 3D, and I'm actually in a project, which is a uh, our Jive world, which is what we have as our 3D multi-user virtual world platform at Reaction Grid. If you want to know more about Jive, uh, go to reactiongrid.com here and go to what is Jive. Basically, Jive is a 3D virtual world platform that's multi-user that um, that we sell that you use Unity 3D to, to, to design in. You use Unity 3D, the Unity 3D editor, to, to work in your world. And we have a number of different worlds that are demo worlds. And so you can see here, this is on uh, uh, Reaction Grid's homepage, uh, the Expo world. And if you actually go to visit this Jive world, you can actually see in the, in the, in the web browser um, your 3D world. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Unity 3D and pull this into, uh, pull the, the lamp into it. Let me close. I'll look at the, I'll show you guys this. Oh, actually, it's loading right here. So let's see here. I am in my world in a web browser. Scotty. And so this is the the 3D world of, of Jive that uses Unity 3D as the environment within which you do all your modeling. So what I'm going to do is I'll close this, and here's Unity 3D, the editor. This is how you work in your world. And here's the OpenSim Prim Lamp, and the way I get the OpenSim Prim Lamp into this environment is pretty darn easy. I'm going to go over here and just create a new empty folder, because I like to keep things organized, and I'm going to call this, you know, John's Prim Lamp. My project folder here is uh, it's basically like my, uh, my inventory, and I've got my... Uh, folder here that's empty. You can see there's nothing in my folder here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take my OBJ file and I'm just going to drag it from my desktop into this folder. And Unity 3D will eat it and integrate it into the project. And now if I go under John's Prim Lamp, you can see here I have the object file here, the 3D model. And I even get a little preview in Unity 3D of my awesome my awesome lamp. Um, you can see it actually creates a default material, but the default material doesn't have any texture associated with it, so my map, my lamp is just naked. But the get, to get my lamp into the environment, I basically just click it, drag it into my environment. Um, it's on its side. It's tilted over, but that doesn't matter. I can, you know, just rotate it back like this, and let's see, stand it over here. <laughs> That's a really bad lamp. I think I need to rotate it by negative 90 here. Oops, 90. There we go. Now it's standing up right. And I'm just going to put my lamp, you know, over here. Uh, on the, put it over here. Stand it over there. But as you can see, it's taken the prim-based model and created a mesh model of it. And it is in Unity 3D and specifically inside the, uh, the Jive project here that I have. And if I wanted to, I could, you know, for this material, I could associate a, a texture with it. You know, like if I wanted to make this lamp, uh, let's see, uh, I think I have a glass texture somewhere. Here's a nice, crazy glass texture here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that glass texture to the material for the lamp. Where's my, uh, oops, where's my lamp? Oh, there we go. What I'm going to do is, um, here's the default material, and I'm just going to make the whole lamp this crazy glass texture. Well, crazy, man. <laughs> it's really crazy. So here's my prim lamp from OpenSim in Unity. It's even cast in a real-time shadow. Kind of nice. Um, and I can, in Unity, I can actually run a preview of the Jibe world to see what it would look like when I walk up to it. Here we go. I'm just going to log in real quick, this little preview of the world. Oh, there we go. And there's my uh, my awesome lamp. Wow, that's kind of trippy. Uh, oh, there's me. I'm actually logged in in another viewer here. Uh, so now, actually, the, the final step that you could do is you could uh, take this world and actually put it live up on the website. So I'm going to do that now. The way you do that in Jive is you basically, once you've edited your world, um, you go under here, File and Build Settings, and you build your environment, and then you just upload it via FTP. So I'm going to click Pause because that does take about uh, a minute for it to build. I'm going to click Pause and do this real quick. 
Okay, I'm back. Basically, I just paused so that I could upload the uh, the changes to the Jive world. It's basically uploading a file via FTP. Just takes a couple minutes. And if we go now to the web page uh, on Reaction Grid's homepage here, go to 3D Demo. And if you scroll down to the Expo World and you go visit the Expo World, Actually, I already. Let's see, let's close it here. So now when you jump into this world. And it's reloading things because I updated the. Uh, I added the lamp. And when I pop in here. Oh, I didn't do a refresh of the page. It's cached it, so let me just do a quick refresh here. this world you can pick any nickname you want. Other worlds you have world. And here we go. There's my lamp. <laughs> so here's uh, here's the lamp live in a jibe world. Here's the prim lamp in Unity 3D. And then here's the original prim lamp in uh, in OpenSim untextured. And that's it. Uh, big thanks to the Singularity team who uh, added this feature, and I'm really looking forward to learning more about it. Um, if you want to visit my OpenSim Grid Pathlandia, you can go to my blog, BeCunningAndFullOfTricks.com, and learn about uh, Pathlandia. You can access it via the Hypergrid. And if you'd like to learn more about Jibe, just go to ReactionGrid.com, and you can find... Uh, more about what is Jive, how it works with Unity 3D, like I just showed you. You can even go to the 3D demo site and look at the prim lamp that I made <laughs> in the Expo world. And if you'd like to contact me, um, please just go to about.me slash pathfinder and all my contact info um, is here as well. That's it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.